How to deal with freakish, that's the question came in, freakish guard returns, flexible, lanky, long leg people, how do you pass their guards? So, there's two things that I do, usually, three maybe. If like I know it's gonna be a battle and they're like freakishly flexible, is like, you know, break grips, break grips until we get into like a headquarters position, and then from here, go into like a smash pass. Because once your legs, like once I have one, I have you sideways, all your big muscles are facing away from me, from me, all my big muscles are facing you, and I'm here and I'm secure in this, like your flexibility doesn't matter anymore. So, this is like my first option, then all I have to do is just windshield wiper, come a little bit high, and then I can turn, and like, you know, I'm pretty secure here. Right? Yeah. Option number two, is like this kind of stuff where I'm here and I'm here and I'm pinning, I have this staple, I have Captain Morgan on this side and my armpit is trapping your leg here. So once I'm here, right, it's really hard for Matt. It, again, his Matt's flexibility doesn't matter because there's no room for him to go anywhere. And now I can finish by either bringing this foot inside or just coming through this knee cut this direction. Last option is if like you're coming high, it's whenever we get into one of these positions and I can reach for this and then I can walk this way. Again, his hips are off the ground, this leg's trapped and then this leg's not doing much because there's like no room for that leg to do anything and then I'm gonna get my chest on Matt's chest. Mm -hmm. So those are like my three favorite ways to deal with it. Uber flexible guard. Yeah, it's, it's getting it from that air range, that distance where I can take advantage of all that, where you go, woof, move in on me, and then I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. I don't have, like I gotta be probably bending in a way that's not actually good for my health to try to like, no, you still don't have it. And then once you get those positions, that goes away too. Yeah. Yep, taking away the range where they do best, I think is the thing. You wanna show? Oh yeah, I'll say, for me, I'm lanky too, so, even if I, sometimes I try to be tight, but it just doesn't work out because I got too much gap. We were just two like scarecrows fighting each other. So coming here and getting these ones of going to the back of the ankles and getting on the chest on the butt. And then again, it's just another way of taking away the flexibility. I mean, they can be as flexible as they want. Some people who stare at you here like they do in yoga class, but you can just work to do these things and then get your knees in switch to a, um, a stack pass, and it's gonna turn into kind of the stack pass Nelson is doing, uh, but I'm keeping this hip high. Sometimes people are in a hurry to let that go and get around, and then all that stuff comes right back in again. So if I get the butt up in the air, if I'm able to get this high, keep it up there like that, and then I can come in and I keep it there, get my head under, and then the hips can drop once I know I'm past the legs. And that's when they'll be bup, 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 throwing their legs in your face and you have to just bump it out of the way. That would be one of my options.